Hey everybody, welcome to the Guitar Tricks YouTube channel. I'm Lisa McCormick, your guest host for this week. Let's start with a quick tip of the week, and this tip of the week has to do with one of my favorite stocking stuffers for guitar players. This is a string winder. A string winder is a spinny little toy that does two important things for guitar players. First, if you're changing your strings and you want to avoid all that tedious cranking, just get a string winder. Bam, look how fast that went. Now it's loose. Same thing with tightening the strings back up. You've got your new string on there. It's all loose and floppy. Quick crank of the string winder, and it's on. The other nifty thing about a string winder is this little notch at the other end. When you're changing your strings, you also have to pull these end pins out once you've loosened the string. And sometimes the end pins can be kind of stuck in there. And so the little notch hooks right around the end of the end pin. You pry it right out of there safely. And now on to today's lesson, which is all about jazzing up your jingle bells. I can't believe I just said that. Now we're going to start with a simple version of jingle bells using three chords, G, C, and D. And we're going to see what happens when we jazz them up a little bit. But let's get started with the basic version. So I'm going to go through it very quickly here, but there's a full lesson on this on the Guitar Tricks site. So if you need to catch up with us on the basic chords, go on over there and, and check out the Jingle Bells lesson. Meanwhile, here's what we're going to do. Start on a G chord. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Go to a C chord. Oh, what fun. Back to G. It is to ride to D in a one horse open sleigh to G. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way to C. Oh, what fun. Back to G. It is to ride to D in a one horse open and G. Slay. Okay, so that's our bass line version. Now the first adjustment we're going to make is going from a G major chord to a G major seventh chord. And the way I'm going to do that is to change this note right here to the second fret of the first string. And I'm going to have to change the way I finger the chord to accommodate that. These notes are the same as they were in the G chord, and this is called G major 7th. Hear how kind of jazzy and loungy that is? The next substitution we're going to do couldn't be easier. I'm starting here with a C major chord, and I'm going to take this note out of it. That's it. Now we have a C major 7th. And finally, we'll replace our regular D major chords with a D 7th chord. So now we have G major 7, C major 7, and D7. Now you don't have to reserve these chord substitutions for jingle bells. You could use it in practically any song that uses those same chords, and it will really change up the flavor. To show you what I mean, I'm going to need to adjust to a little bit of mood lighting. I'll be right back. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. I said, oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. 